you know, quality of life in other areas, you know, uh, quality of life on the field is one thing, but uh, there's so many times I saw young players, you know, Bev and myself would be, you know, dressed up and uh, going out in Chicago all day games at that time and uh, going out to a really nice, nice restaurant, having, you know, enjoying that sort of thing. And, uh, and I'd, I'd see these two or three guys, young kids, come in with a, a, a sack of hamburgers going up to their room to play cards. I said, this is, you know, that is correct, I mean, for them. But I said, well, there's another way. I mean, there's, there's parts of life that, you know, you should enjoy. I mean, you should understand food and the quality of food and then the wine and how the, the marriage of those two ingredients are, you know, how that science worked, you know. He used to take Rick Shue and I out to dinner. And uh, one night in Cincinnati, we went to a real nice restaurant, and Lefty was showing us the ropes, you know, and he would always order wine and champagne for us. And, and uh, this night, we had got a bad bottle of champagne that was flat, I guess. But uh, anyway, he orders us about 150 bucks. Guy brings it, and Lefty tastes it and says it's flat, you know. And uh, looked at both Rick and I and said, hey, uh, you know, you agree, this is flat, yo. Well, of course, Rick and I were gonna say whatever Lefty wanted, and they say, yeah, it's flat, you know. So uh, the guy took it back and brought us another bottle, and uh, Rick and I talked about that for a year later. The air, airplane flights and stuff like that, uh, some of us would, uh, would be the benefactors of a little glass of a, a great Chardonnay once in a while, you know, and... Uh... It happened to me with, with Tim McCarver and uh... And the Mike Shannon and Dal Maxa, when I was young, they took me out and they showed me the good restaurants, you know. And, you know, this is, this is pretty neat stuff. We weren't born with silver spoons in our mouth, but we uh, were determined that uh, if, um, if we did make a few bucks, uh, we were going to spend it, and we spent it very well, too. And it's part of the art of living. We, we were out having a couple of drinks one night, and he said, why are you putting that in? You said, if you're going to drink anything, at least drink this. I don't remember what it was. He told me, he said, and less calories, and le I went through the whole thing, and, and uh, a 20-minute dissertation on, on uh, the values of, of know, knowing, knowing what you're putting in your body. Uh, whether I heard what he said or not wasn't the point. The point was that it mattered that much, and he's, he was so passionate about that. I got to know in a few different cities what time the sun came up, because after Lefty pitched, he, he wanted to talk about the game. He, well, he just wanted to talk, period. And, and somebody was going to have to listen. And I was the fortunate or maybe unfortunate victim on a few occasions. But uh, that was a time when you really got to know Lefty. And let's have some fun. Let's play some ball and, uh, you know, learn. Learn the game. Learn how to win. Learn how to think. You know, take it. Uh, if you don't succeed in the game, take it elsewhere. But let's learn.